I'm Clara. It's getting colder and colder. Hoping everyone will have a warm winter. As you can see, I'm in the factory right now. Today we are going to introduce the basic steps to start up the laser cutting machine every day. If you are a new laser freshman, don't miss this video. You can get a routine and to-do list to keep the machine well maintained. By the way, my Alibaba shop is online. Please click the link below in the description to have a trip there and get to know the cost for what you are looking for. If you are first time here, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. Thank you. Attention here, we should notice the power supply for the whole machine. Is it three phase or single phase? Is it 50 HZ or 60 HZ? The first step is to connect the correct plug. If the power is not matched, a serious problem like the laser burned could happen. Next step is to turn on the general switch. And then the air switch is necessary to press down. Check whether the emergency button is loosened. Turn the case switch to open side and press down the middle button until the green light is shining, which means the servo motors are power on. And we'll see the computer is on boot automatically. Here we probably will see the G3 monitor prompt out. Here if your laser is Max Photonics and the G3 monitor is installed in the PC, we can just exit and then open the SEPCAD software. Every day when we first start up the SEPCAD software, it will automatically prompt us to return origin. We need to click the first choice, ORG, which will help us to correct the machine coordinates. It's suggestive to make this step every morning when we first boot on the software. At the same time, the chiller will be running after all switches on. Attention here, it's time to turn on the laser source only after the chiller temperature is more than 20 degrees. If the laser source is allowed to work under 20 degrees or even colder, the best issue could be alarm and the worst could be a burnt out, which is a complete disaster. When the chiller temperature is qualified, we can start the laser source. For max photonics lasers, the normal status should be like this. Green light for alarm, red light for active, green light for power, and red light for start button. If there's a red light for alarm, which means there is alarm, we need to get into the G3 monitor to check the alarms and find the solutions. If there is a light flashing for alarm, which means the time of the laser source is expired. Probably the laser source is not encrypted. Then we need to check whether there is right light indicator. If there is not right light indicator, check whether the laser source is on, whether the shutter is on. If there is only half or less right light, not a circle, probably the laser beam is not in the very center. It's time to correct the laser path. If you don't know how to find the center, please click the video up here. Then we need to check whether the nozzle is intact and suitable for the plate to be cut. Check the protective lens for dust or other impurities. When checking the protective lenses, we need to close the drawer immediately while taking out the lens. With the help of a flashlight, place the lens above the light to see if there are black or white spots, etc. It should be noted that when checking the lenses, there must be no wind around. Fans, air conditioners, or extractors are recommended to be temporarily closed to avoid dust adhering to the lenses. Finally, we need to check the gas. 
Depending on the type of gas you are using, if we are using nitrogen and oxygen, select those two gases separately and then click blow to see if any gas is blow out. If we check that everything is normal, we can make the cut. Of course, the parameter sighting is also very important. If you are looking for reference parameters, please click the video up here. And if you want to learn more about SAPCAD software, a complete tutorial is over here. You can get almost every functions in those videos. Well, thanks for watching. If you are first time here, don't forget to click the subscribe button, give me your thumbs up, leave a comment below. And if you still have the time, why don't you stick around and watch another video? Next week, I will show you the cutting process of the stainless steel with film. Next Tuesday at 8 p.m., be sure to be here on time for the appointment. See you. Bye. The next step is to download the free PPS file in the description below. You can get a collection of my videos, which is easy to locate the video you want.